Hi everybody, Nick Blazier here with your champion of the UBC Contender Tournament Marbella 2021, Dirk Scheman. Yeah, hi everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I am really still cannot believe that I, I made it. I mean, it was just like, of course, you always hope to win and all that stuff. But my main goal was to, to perform well and everything else, well, I, I have no influence on. So, so I did that and fortunately it, it was enough to, to win. Yeah, maybe maybe even more than enough. I think uh, your average PR was probably the best in the tournament by quite a bit. Uh, through the round of 14 matches, 15 rounds, I think it was around a 2.9 something, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so, and I hope it has improved a little bit, but, <laughs> so, but I'm not sure. I'm really looking forward to seeing the final results, and uh, yeah, I mean, and then all the, the work starts. Uh, 23 matches to analyze, you guys really <laughs> made it hard for us, I mean, you saw People exhausted everywhere, and it's, it was really tough. But I guess that was part of the idea. Yeah, yeah. So I, we do have the final results from all all four of the finals matches roll, rolled out on Plus Plus UBC settings, and you played a 2.77 across four matches. Uh, I know three of them were under a two, one of them a little, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. There was one game that I totally got the wrong idea. Actually, that was also part of the exhaustion because I decided to, to play on for the gammon and I never reconsidered that decision and that is uh, typical of this yeah when 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 you're really uh, not a hundred percent focused anymore you try to focus and then you just uh, try to play it uh, yeah where just you, your brain doesn't want to work anymore, so you just continue and yeah, but, but still I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and also that I recovered and I also got lucky because the match that I really played badly, I still won the PR, so that made, made things really easy. I think that was like an inflection point because uh, Kazuki, who played a great tournament, should have won that PR and then it would have been everybody's uh, final. Yeah, I think after that, after I won, playing really badly, I, I felt, okay, this looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it was looking pretty good for you through the final. That one, that's kind of a lucky one. Funny how this tournament has like a little bit of luck in how things shake out. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes you, you play extreme, but that's also nice. I mean, it's part of the game. There's a random factor. Yeah. But when you do a format like this, uh, where you have a, a skill factor, this it's it's still sort of random, but it's just uh, reduced the randomness a little bit at least. And so that's just... Uh, Probably a I like it better than uh, the the pure luck win. <laughs> so uh, I mean the PR thing uh, this time really helped me to to get through the rounds. Of course. Yeah, I think you said across the tournament you won something like 20 of the 22 PR uh, points in your matches. Uh, 21 out of 23. So that was 21 <laughs> points in the bag. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's really incredible stuff. That's. Uh, Amazing tournament you put up. I think you were telling me at the beginning of it that your hopes were mainly just to uh, try to hold underneath a three. You know, if you had to guess what your PR was going to be across the tournament, did you do what you expected? Better, worse? I think uh, it was what I was hoping for. Um, I not quite. Uh, I didn't take into account the the, uh, the stress you have when you are playing so many matches, but yeah, I I did. Uh, I'm always happy if I play below three, so so I'm happy now. I don't know the final result of the averages, but uh, yeah. I mean that's my goal, and I'm glad that I achieved it. And everything else, I have no influence on. That's really great. the The stress was definitely a factor over the weekend, over the week, I guess. I'm curious, I know you do some things like, like meditation routines and things mm. like that. Do you feel like the stress was maybe an advantage for you or did it kind of play out even? Yeah, what do you think? It's, it's, it's just like uh, you, have, you have to find a balance. I mean, if you're too relaxed, no good. If you are too hyped up, also no good. So you have to just find the sweet spot where you are like uh, 
you have the adrenal adrenaline running uh, through your veins, but also uh, like in, in a more uh, you have to have this this calmness as well. Or when I mean, in a long tournament like this was just crazy. Five days it was. I can't even remember. And before I made the seminar, so uh, the, the lecture. So so it was really very intense for me. And then you have your moments where you feel down and uh, uh, think, oh, uh, so you have a, this little part in your body that tells you uh, maybe it's better to, to, to just lose and can go to the pool, so you really have to fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fight this uh, because it's, it's really tough. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough out here in beautiful Marbella not to just lay out by the pool. They, I completely agree with that. Um, so last question I got for you, how do you think you're going to fare against Mochi in the finals? Well, uh, I, if, if I want to have a chance, I think I have to improve. Okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, I guess there are some months that I can do that. I will look at my arrows, will try to just uh, prepare and again, uh, I mean, certainly I mean, he's the best player in the world and a great honor for me to, to challenge him. Uh, but yeah, I of course, uh, want to deliver a fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm really excited to see it. Oh, one last thing too. Uh, I know you're working on a book. Is that kind of getting close by? You want to talk about that at all? Yeah, I started a book project uh, one and a half years ago, Times of Corona, and it's almost finished. I mean, I basically wrote it, I mean, you know, the editing last correction, so I'm des I'm really hoping that it will be out by November or something, but uh, this is just, I, I wanted to, to finish the whole thing in a year, but these projects... Uh, take always longer so I hope it's gonna be out I cannot promise it uh, but yeah, yeah I, that would be great so then I can just put a check mark on it <laughs> sure yeah good timing maybe good advertising winning a tournament and being able to yeah, put a book it, out right it certainly doesn't hurt <laughs> yeah well thanks so much congratulations on the tournament awesome job everyone in the chat and stuff has been really impressed by what you did over the tournament you put up some really really crazy results and so consistent I think was a big difference that we saw too but yeah Dirk Schirming your winner here of UBC Marbella 2021 thank you